Passion. What wonderful things can I tell you about the passion of man? How it would take a glance or a simple touch of a hand. Oh, how nervous they are, rolling the stems as they patiently wait at the bar. I'm either offered gently or forced fervently, and when I am received, most see it as a formality rather than a chance for them to show who they really are. My history travels far beyond most that have sought my petals. I have sparked fires and marked the resting place of soldiers that fell under the force of another's metal. I have carpeted the halls of cathedrals and lost count of the curtain calls. I can be thrown like a dart, and I won't leave your grasp without leaving a scar on your hand. I grow in many forms, as beautiful as I can be, I do not hide my thorns. For I can heal or harm depending on how I am offered, and if I am welcomed with open arms. I can cement the idea of a fairy tale, or tell you the wildest yarn. One lesson that could be imparted on you should be taken as your truth. No matter how much you buy of me, I will only bring sadness to those filled with gluttony. My gift is to be given and received, not taken on one side and cast out to sea. See me for what I am, and not what you perceive me to be. I am not love. I am the passion that sparks the bond beneath. Love binds, but I spark. I am not the roaming fire, but I am where it starts. I reside in all hearts, and I only present myself when fools try to look flawless. Regardless of confidence, you have to offer me only to receive the gift of progress. I will see you in fields, in churches, in empty streets, and at the end of long searches. I will be there when you wish to explain with actions when words fail. Though I may not be playing on your team, I do hope that you will win after all. I will be as fickle as the roses that you hold in your hand before her eyes leave you stunned. If you are afraid of my spark, don't worry, you are not the only one.